Hi there, it's Jules from the lab and today we're going to go over our GI Map stool collection. Let's take a look at what's inside here. So to start, we will have our requisition form, which we'll test base with later, as well as directions from the lab that we will ask you to take a read over. Next, we have our little french fry carton that you'll be taking to the restroom with you as well as a pair of gloves. And then we have our biohazard baggie, which has this vial inside of it. So when you head to the restroom, we'll have you put on these gloves as well as bring this. Once you get enough stool into your French fry carton, we'll then ask you to take your vial and attached to the lid, there is a little clear shovel. You will then scoop enough of the specimen from the container into the vial. We will ask that you put enough specimen in here so that the red liquid displaces or surpasses this red line, but please don't overflow it. We'll then have you screw the orange lid on tightly and then just put your name and date of birth on the tube. After that, please put it into the biohazard baggie and shut that tight. You can then discard of your gloves and the french fry carton. Then just place this inside the box and the entire box along with the requisition form which we'll get to quickly will go inside your prepaid and pre-labeled FedEx sleeve. On the requisition form we will ask you to fill out any highlighted sections. For all patients this will include our patient information as well as the date of the sample collection. If you are choosing to bill through insurance or Medicare, we will then also have you fill out the bottom section for the insurance and Medicare. If you're choosing the cash price, this section will be X'd out. Once you have this done, it will also go into the box and then you can close that up and put it in the FedEx sleeve. There are a couple of disclaimers for this test. We do ask that four days prior to the test, you avoid all NSAIDs. So this is Advil, Ibuprofen, Motrin, etc. We also ask for four days before the test that you avoid any probiotics. When you're ready to ship this out on the bottom of the instructions from the lab, there is a number to call for FedEx. You can call that number and have them pick it up outside your home, or if you choose not to do this, then you'll have to find a FedEx drop center in your area that accepts biohazards.